I'm using the baggy armor here, because this quest takes place after my main great baggy guide. If there's only one armor set that you farm for in low rank, it should be this one. Same as with the hammer, my first order of business is to clear out the small monsters. There is a prime example of why I do my spirit combo off of a monster. Every time you hit a monster, it slows down your animation a little bit. That's called hit stop, and it's more extreme when you hit a target with a higher hit zone. It's in every Monster Hunter game. I know if I had done the spirit combo away from Great Baggy, I would have had time to hit him with the spirit round slash, and I would have had a red gauge. It sucks. Well, this is awkward. Later on, I'll be bringing dung bombs to deal with multiple monsters and quests. Feel free to do that for this one in your own hunt. When a monster interrupts your hunt, you actually want to dung bomb the monster you're fighting. Paintball the new monster as well, but the new monster just came in, while the one you're fighting may leave soon after since you've been in one area for a while. I feel like it may sound counterintuitive, but that's generally what you want to do as far as I'm aware. As you can see here, the monster I've been fighting is now leaving, which works out in my favor quite well. Okay, something's going on here.
Don't get me wrong, it's not like hitting the monster with your spirit combo is a bad thing, obviously. But the game is literally designed to encourage you to miss the monster and only hit them with the round slash. In 4th gen, they added a way to skip the first attack of the spirit combo, and in 5th, they added more ways to get and use the leveled up gauge. Unfortunately, 3rd gen can feel like a nerf, but honestly, it's pretty unique, which I really like. Just like how 2nd gen is unique, you'll use 3rd gen longsword differently than the other generations. Okay, that's three times now. Does the baggy set have sleep resistance or something? Wait. Oh, I have feline insomniac, oh my god. Well, I was playing as if I didn't have it, because I didn't know I had it. I'm pretty sure Feline Insomniac actually prevents you from sleeping in camp as well. Or maybe that's just in a later game. 